All right, let's finish up this course with um, two practice problems. This uh, involves uh, the Nernst equation. the Nernst equation. So the Nernst equation I want you to associate with non-standard state. Okay, non-standard state conditions. So we're calculating E cell, okay, not E cell at, at standard state. Okay, so there's a, a, a distinction to be made here. We're calculating this, not the one at standard state. The one at standard state we can calculate using our little sheet here. <coughs> right, but that's at standard state conditions. Okay, standard, standard. But non-standard state conditions like this problem and the next problem will have to use the Nernst equation. So let's go ahead and use that. I'll give you the Nernst equation on the exam so you do not have to memorize it. Let's go ahead and do this problem here and the next one. All right, so calculate um, using the Nernst equation, predict the spontaneity of this redox reaction. Okay, so spontaneity. Uh, you're looking for positive voltage, okay, positive voltage. That means it's spontaneous. Okay, we're making a battery, and if the battery has positive voltage, that means that battery, this reaction, is moving forward. If it's a negative voltage, the battery is not a battery, it's a dead battery, and the reaction is not moving forward. It's just staying right here in the reactant side. So we'll use the Nernst equation. The first thing uh, you want to do is split this reaction up. Okay, so here we have cobalt solid going to cobalt plus 2. So Cu solid going to Co plus 2. We're splitting up the reaction. Okay. And how many electrons do we need to add and where to balance this out? Okay, excellent. It's going to be two reactants on the product side. Okay, is this oxidation or reduction? Okay, we lose electrons in oxidation, so this has lost two electrons. Lost two electrons. So losing two electrons is oxidation. So first it's an oxidation. Now in a battery, where does oxidation occur? Does it occur in the cathode or the anode? It occurs at an anode. So we will memorize this. Red cat eats an ox. Okay, reduction occurs at the cathode. Anode occurs or is where oxidation occurs. So this is the anode. Let's go ahead and check out the voltage associated with this, cobalt. So this you should bring to your exam. If not, I have copies available here. Okay. I see this right here. What should we do with this voltage? Okay. Yes, we should flip it, right? Should we? Yes, we should. Okay. Yeah, yeah right. Cobalt. Um, goes to cobalt plus 2 plus 2 electron. We should flip it, and when we flip it, it's 0.28. All of these are reductions, so if you flip it, you get oxidation. Flipping it gives us oxidation. Positive, positive 0.28 volts for the anode. And then the next thing on our list here is iron plus 2 goes to iron solid. Iron plus 2 aqueous goes to iron solid. Okay, how many electrons and where to balance this out? Okay, this will be two electrons on the reactant side. Is this the anode or the cathode? Cathode. Okay, this is reduction. You gain two electrons. You see iron plus 2 gained two electrons. 
iron plus two gained two electrons to become iron solid. Gained. Okay, another thing you may want to memorize is Leo Gur. Lose electrons. Here we lost two electrons. Gur gained two electrons. Here we gained two electrons. Lose electrons oxidation. Gain electrons reduction. All right, let's look at the uh, voltage associated with that. I'm finding it here. And this looks to be um, minus 0.44 volts. Okay, minus 0.44 volts. So how many electron transfers or how many electrons are being transferred in this reaction? Okay, that's what I'm looking for. This is a two electron transfer reaction. This is a two electron transfer reaction and uh, we don't need to multiply anything. And our net is Cu solid, CO solid plus Fe plus two goes to CO plus two plus Fe solid. Okay, that's uh, the same thing as above, okay, but now we've calculated E cell, which is 0.28 minus 0.44 is, what is that? Uh, point one, negative 0.16, am I right? Okay, I'm not hearing any disagreement, so negative point. 1, 6 volts is E cell. Negative voltage, this is a dead battery. I want you to know this is a dead battery. It's not going to move in the product side. All right. Well, that's E cell standard state. Uh, that's not the answer to our problem um, because that's at standard state. We want to solve it at this concentration of Fe plus 2 and that concentration of CO plus 2. That's what we want to do. So we will use the NERST equation. Now I'll give you this equation on the exam. So it's going to be E equals E cell minus 0 0.0257 divided by N times natural log of Q. OK, natural log of Q. <coughs> All right, let's start filling things in here. Um, Q, by the way, is going to be the concentration of CO plus 2 divided by concentration of Fe plus 2. Okay, no solids in the expression. Products over reactants, no solids. No solids whatsoever. All right, everyone with me? Okay, no solids. Okay, E cell we just calculated as minus 0.16 volts minus 0 0.0257 divided by, this is a two electron transfer reaction, divided by two natural log of the concentration of cobalt. And what is our concentration of cobalt? It's 0 0.15 divided by the concentration of Fe plus two, 1.94. Right, so let's do that on the calculator with me. So Q is products over reactants. This is the equation I'll give you on the exam. So this is the NERST equation. So that will be given. Do not memorize it. E cell we've calculated here. All right, um, we can do this together. Okay, 0.15 divided by 1.94. Okay, let's take the natural log of that. That's a minus. So that plus a minus, plus a minus two point, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, strike that. Okay, so natural log of this is minus 2.559 times, times a minus 0 0.0257, times a minus 0 0.0257 times a minus 0.0257 divided by 2, divided by 2, 
and plus a minus point one plus a minus point one six. So plus that's the leading sign minus plus a minus point one six. And I'm getting about point negative point one three volts as the answer. So it's still non spontaneous. So predict the spontaneity of this reaction. Uh, this reaction is not happening. Okay, negative 0.134 volts at this concentration of cobalt at that concentration of Fe plus two is not happening. Okay, so non-spontaneous. Okay, that's the answer. Uh, here's the nurse equation, so that will be given on the test. So you um, just, that will be given. So what you have to do is plug everything in. So E cell we calculated here, splitting this up into the anode and cathode, right? So we split this up in this main equation, we split it up into the anode and the cathode. We added it up together to get E cell, which was 0.16 volts. But I, I'm not confused on how it's set up. I'm confused how you're computing that equation because you're not reading the equation left to right. You're doing the 0.15 over 9.4 natural log and then going right. from right to left, not left to right. So I'm confused. Oh, that's just how I calculated it. How are you calculating it? Because when I read it left to right, I get a different answer than you. <coughs> um, ba basically, it's a calculator thing. Um, it's for me, it's easier going calculating it this way, but you can calculate that way. That's fine. It's just a lot of parentheses. What I would recommend is just uh, write everything out. I'll calculate it left to right for you. So um, minus 0.16. Okay. So how do you, so this is coming from here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we got to calculate this whole thing, right? Yep. Okay. Calculate this whole thing. So what I would do is I would calculate this whole thing as one unit and write down the answer. Okay? So I'm just going to calculate this thing. <coughs> okay, realizing the minus sign is in front. Okay? Realizing the minus sign is out in front. Okay, calculating this whole thing to me, I want to calculate the natural log of this fraction times this divided by 2. Okay? I'm calculating this thing, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, it's natural log of this fraction times 0 0.0257 divided by 2, right? Right. So I'm going to, on my calculator, on my calculator, I'm going to calculate this natural log of the fraction times 0 0.0257. Then I'll divide it by 2. It's just, I'm just calculating this chunk, yep. this chunk of math. Okay, okay so I'm just going to do this first. Or you can do this if you utilize your parentheses. Okay, so leave that minus alone, 0 0.0257. Okay, times, let me do it this way, natural log that fraction. So that fraction I'm going to put in parentheses. Okay. Okay. That this times the natural log of that fraction is this number. I'm going to divide it by 2 and I'll get that. Okay, so that minus, with that minus, becomes a plus. I, this whole thing is minus 0.03289, whatever that is on our calculator, this whole thing. But that minus and that minus makes it a plus. Okay, so at that point, you're just leading, reading it left to right as negative 
zero point six volt minus the minus a minus two three eight. Right. Okay. Right. So that minus in term minus makes it a plus. All right. Yeah. That makes more sense. Like. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that would still make it about minus. Well, I can say there's more than one way to solve this. Okay, however, whatever is comfortable for you. Okay, whatever is comfortable for you to do this computation on your calculator. That's all. Thank you, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This calculation can be tricky. Putting all that calculator and how you do it is tricky and can lead to wrong answers, most definitely, most definitely. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's do our last problem here. Okay, it also involves the Nernst equation. And um, now we're asked to find the value of E cell, E cell. So I like this because we need to convert this to the equation. So here we have AL going to AL plus 3. Okay, let's remind ourselves this is the anode couple. Okay, what is the symbol for a salt bridge? And then a cathode couple. All right, so here we have AL solid going to AL plus 3. Okay, how many electrons and where should we put them to balance this out? Okay, it's going to be three electrons on the product side. Okay. So anode is Al going to Al plus three. <coughs> and um, where is that here? So minus 1.66 volts, but okay, this is the anode. Notice how it's the opposite. So this, we need to do the opposite and flip it. And that would make it positive 1.66 volts. Okay, just reading it out of the table. Okay, this is the anode. We lost three electrons. Okay, we lost three electrons. All right. We have copper plus two going to copper solid. Copper plus two going to copper solid. So we'll have two electrons here on the reactant side to balance this half reaction. This is a reduction, and reduction happens at the cathode. Okay. Let's read out the voltage here. Here it is. Okay. So that's going to be positive 0.34 volts. Okay, just read it, reading it out. Okay. What should we do to cancel out our electrons? Exactly. We'll multiply the top one by 2 and the bottom one by 3. How many electrons are being transferred in this reaction? Okay, this is a 6-electron transfer reaction. This is a 6-electron transfer reaction. Let's go ahead and write everything out here. 2Al solid goes to 2Al plus 3. Plus six electrons. We still keep this at 1.66 volts. Okay, do not multiply the two by anything. Okay. 
it's still at 1.66 volts. Same thing at the bottom here, six electrons plus two Cu plus two goes to three, three Cu plus two goes to three copper solid. This is positive 0.34 volts. So I'm just multiplying the top by two, the bottom by three. And as Milana said, this is a six electron transfer reaction. So the six electrons and six electrons here cancel. And my net reaction is going to be 2Al solid plus 3Cu plus 2 aqueous goes to 2Al plus 3 aqueous plus 3U solid. And we get E cell now. The electrons have canceled. And I'm getting, uh, what did you guys get? Two volt? Is it exactly two volts? Yes. Okay. Two volts, adding the cathode which the electrons are gained, adding the anode where the electrons are lost. It's a six electron transfer reaction. Adding the anode and cathode, I'm getting a two volt. This is a, a, a standard state, a good battery, two volt battery. These batteries are like 1.5 volts. So aluminum and copper make a good battery, but that's not the answer. They want it not at standard state. They want it at this concentration of Al plus three and that concentration of Cu plus two. For that, we will use the Nernst equation. So once again, I'll give this to you on the exam. Natural log of Q. Right, Q is products over reactants. So it's going to be Al plus 3. What should we do with that Al plus 3? We should square it, divided by copper plus 2. Okay, what should we do with that copper plus two? Okay, with that copper plus two, we should cube it. So let's plug everything in here. E cell, we just calculated this as two volts. Okay, this is the Nernst equation that will be given on the exam. So E is going to be two volts minus 0 0.0257. This is a six electron transfer reaction as Milana correctly stated. Times natural log of Al plus three squared. What is the concentration of Al plus three squared? 0.15, don't forget to square it. Divided by the concentration of Cu plus 2, which is 0 0.025. Concentration of that is 0 0.025, don't forget to cube it. Okay. <clears throat> right, so. Here's how I'll do this on my calculator. I'll take two volts minus, I'll just calculate this big chunk. Okay, big, this big chunk. Actually, what I'll do is I'll calculate, um, I'll calculate Q here. Okay. There's more than, one correct way to do this calculation, so. Right, 0.15 squared divided by 0 0.025 cubed. My calculator has a cubed button. Okay, so it's 1.1440. 1 So 0.0257 divided by 6 
natural log of 1440. All right, so I'm just going to calculate this big chunk here. So I'll leave the minus sign as is. Okay, don't, the minus sign still stays. 0 0.0257 divided by natural log of 1440 times, I'll just put this here, natural log of 1440 is that number divided by 6. So minus a point oh three one two k volts. So two minus point oh three one two. So about one point nine seven or so volts. Okay, it's still a positive voltage. It's still a good battery, and it's spontaneous. It's going to favor the products. So this reaction, by virtue of its um, positive voltage will favor the products and it's a spontaneous reaction. <coughs> At this concentration of Al plus 3 and that concentration of copper plus 2.